With the 2X Pro, Bauer had one of the best chest protectors on the market. Now with their new Hyperlite out, how does it stack up? guys here we have fresh out of the box the Bauer Hyperlite chest protector so I'm coming from the 2x pro chest protector which is like you know they changed the name to Hyperlite with this new one but it's basically that same continuation of that line and this was my 2x pro so I'm gonna bring it out to show you just some some of the differences and between the two and <clears throat> talking about what I think of it. Now, obviously this is just a quick out of the box overlook at it. Uh, I haven't had a chance to use it yet or anything. So I will do a more in-depth review of it uh, after that. But you know, I know uh, a lot of people were kind of excited about this, interested in it. So I just want to get an overview of it out there uh, for anyone who's interested. <clears throat> so with the 2X, you know, I've always been a Vaughn guy for chest protectors for years. Still, I mean, I still think Vaughn makes great chest protectors. But uh, my first exposure to the 2X was, uh, I have a review on my channel from when it was new and my buddy had got it and he let me try it too so I could do a review of it. And um, it really surprised me. Like I was just doing it to do the review of it, whatever. I didn't think much of it. I was just gonna use it and then whatever. Um, but I really liked it when I used it. And um, at the time my, my Vaughn chest protector was getting up there. A lot of use getting a little older so I was in the market for a new one and um, you know I, I found a, a good deal on a used 2x pro so I figured you know it's not new I'm not putting I'm not um, tying myself to it that much since it's not I'm not spending a lot of money on a new one whatever so even if in, for some reason I end up not liking it after a while whatever it's not I'm not out that much money so I bought this 2x one used and I mean, if anything, I ended up, the more I used it, the more I liked it. I, it's the most mobile chest protector I've ever had. Um, just second to none of, of anything ever. Um, and that's one thing I've always liked about Vaughn is, is they've been more mobile, but this is even more mobile than anything Vaughn's come out with. You know, the only caveat to that is I would say Vaughn, the Vaughn one I had, as I had an SLR one, <clears throat> had a little more protection to it not that i found that this had like terrible protection or anything but i know that is something like some people have complained about especially in the arms that to them they feel they need it you know you're always going to get different things as far as protection what somebody might say is great protection for them somebody else is going to be like nah, it was terrible or whatever you know all i can do is give you my opinion to me that had decent protection i mean yeah not the best ever some every now and then you'll feel a shot but i mean if you're playing goalie i don't know what you expect but you're you're gonna you know feel some shots sometimes whatever I mean as long as something's protecting you from getting like injured that's really what it's meant to do but anyway without going on too much of that tangent so I like the protection the mobility was phenomenal um so I really love that so you know since I had already bought this use like I said I knew I wasn't gonna get that much you know life out of it as opposed to a new one even though I have been using this now for probably about a year you know um close to it if not but now it's come time that i do need a new one and um you know being that i've always been a bond guy i was thinking of maybe going back to that if they came out with the slr3 but you know with the whole pandemic and everything and a lot of companies lines have gotten messed up and like their production times and their, when they release stuff you know, I was waiting as long as I could to see if Vaughn would come out with something and they haven't and at this point I don't know when they are um, <clears throat> so I just figured well hey Bauer came out with a new Hyperlite uh, and I like the 2X so I'm just going to go with that I, I couldn't really wait anymore to see what Vaughn was going to do so it's not that like I'm necessarily never going to use Vaughn again or I don't like them now whatever I still think they make a great chest protector but uh, just based on the, the great um experience I had with the 2X Pro and the fact that Bauer is putting out their new stuff now, 
I went with this Hyperlight chest protector. <clears throat> so again, you you know you can see right out of the box that this is meant also for mobility. The uh, the way the arms, this arm pad here, the elbow pad is in, it's like a it's cut is made for mobility. It's not like one solid thing. It's kind of a it's this is one part that's cut into in the middle into two pieces, and then it's got a secondary part underneath it. So it's not like the problem. A lot of times you'll see when a chest protector has an arm that you can't bend it good is it a lot of times you'll find is that it's because this is like a one piece thing and there's not enough articulation within this to allow it to do that so the only way it would eventually maybe get a little more mobile is just by wearing it out and having the padding start getting softer and smaller or i mean not smaller softer and uh you know like it'll it'll kind of bend and whatever but the way they make this is so that it's flexible out of the box you don't need to like warp the padding, make it softer or whatever to get it to bend. It'll just do it out of the box because of the way it's articulated into like separate sections within this. While also, I mean, it's not that it's leaving anything open for you to be vulnerable to a shot. You're still always protected. It's got um, on the ins. Let me see that. Now the outside part has the their curve composite. As you can see, it even says this there. Um, I'm not sure if they use that on the 2X. I mean, it does feel hard. It feels like it could be the curved composite, but I'm not 100% sure because it, it has a material over it and doesn't say it. You know, I guess if I'm now that I'm feeling the two of them together, it's probably not curved composite on, on the outside on this. But again, it's hard to say because there's material over it and I can't be 100% sure. Whereas this one, this is just their curved composite material. There's not... There's not a uh, like nylon or some other thing covering it, so you can clearly see what this is. So they've incorporated that into their outer elbow piece, as this as that. On the inside, though, this is not curved. This is um, just whatever other padding they use throughout. <clears throat> so that curved composite thing, I believe, is new. Since I'm not 100% certain, but I believe it is new. Um, the arms, other than that, feel very similar as far as protection in the bicep and forearm, which like I mentioned a little bit ago, that some people complained about that with a 2X Pro. Um, if that is really a concern for you, you can order custom and get, get it beefed up even more. As it is, I feel like this is a little bit more of a beefed up version of this chest protector anyway. So to me, I don't think you need it, but again, everyone's different. And if, you know, I'm more of a mobility over protection when it comes to chest protectors, but if you're the other way and you just want the most protection possible, uh, then I guess maybe look into going custom and getting the, the uh, beefed up version of this. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll go over some of the stuff where you can see how they, they did already beef up certain areas of this, uh, but the, the arms really feel mostly about the same as far as the protection level of it, which like I said, to me is fine. So I, I don't have a problem with that at all. Um, one thing on the 2X that I kind of questioned if you, if you saw my review of it was, let me see, it's on the level. Yeah. So they had this padding on, on the underside of the wrist here. Here you go. So that's to protect your glove hand so this is on the left side since most people catch with their left, but you can see it's just tied in so you can switch it over to the right side. So that's, you know, you, your glove is up or whatever, that, that area can be exposed. Um, a lot of other chest protectors now have this similar thing too. The only thing to me was kind of weird is with this Bauer unit, the 2X, um, they only give you one. Now, like I said, you can transfer to, you know, it's not like sewn in, it's just tied in. So you can transfer to the other side if you're uh, full right and you catch with your right hand but it just seemed kind of stupid that they didn't just give you the same thing on both sides you know because it's like how much more could it cost them to, to put this little piece of padding on both sides instead of kind of cheaping out and just giving you the one and making you decide where you want to put it um because in my my slr uh chest protector that i had before this um it gave you that protection on both sides so that was kind of i mean it's pretty insignificant but it's still it's like why wouldn't they just do that so on this one they did improve that and now you get the same level of protection on both underside of the wrists on each side but it's a little different so it's not like like i said that's 
that was a thing you could unlace, whatever. It's a little piece of padding. This is just part of the arm. You can't like take it off or whatever. And it's, um, it does have like an opening here, but when you put, it has elastic that keeps it, helps kind of pull it in. Um, and when you're wearing it, you know, and you put it on, it pretty much covers that whole area. I will say, if I had to say between this version and the 2X, like which one covers more, this, you know, is still leaving a little bit more open than the other one did. But it would have to be a real fluke shot for you to get hit here and have it go somewhere that it's really going to hurt you or something. Um, you know, I think maybe if they would have just kept that other uh, level of padding, and even if they sewed it in, but then just had it on both arms instead of making you decide which one you want to put it on, might have been a little better than this. But at least now you have this on both arms. Here's the other one, as you can see. So you don't have to worry about changing it out if you're left-handed, right-handed, whatever. You got some of that protection under there. Albeit, I feel like it's slightly less of a protection than what was on the 2X. <clears throat> so you're kind of trading out a common sense thing for level of protection. But again, I don't think, you know, we'll see when I use it. I don't, I've never really, I can't even think off the top of my head, like when I'm getting hit there, how many times I've gotten hit there. It's such a rare thing. And for the most part, this should be able to, to cover that area, but we'll see. Um, as far as the, now getting to the body of it, the, probably the one, I would say, I guess it's the biggest change between the 2X and this Hyperlite is the chest plate area right here. Sternum, chest plate, whatever you want to call this. So on the 2X, you had their curved composite shield thing here, this thing. Um, I talked about it in my re review video of this, that you know it's definitely very protective um but like one of the things i said that uh it felt a little awkward if you ever try to like get your hands or, or arms in front of you more or have to you know you it's not something you're doing all the time but if you ever have to kind of cross your arm over or something that very stiff part of the the chest kind of felt a little bit like it was getting in the way it, it wasn't really stopping you from doing it but it's just you would something you would notice when it wasn't like an effortless feeling when you did that so they still have that plate uh on the chest part of the hyperlite so that issue still kind of might be there although i think they did maybe kind of fix the shape of it a little bit so that it's it starts off a little bigger and then narrows as it gets lower so when you do do that with the arms like crossing over or putting it more in front of you, it it gives you a little more room to operate there. But the biggest thing that they did change is they put an extra layer of foam in front of the uh, curve composite piece to dampen rebounds. So I don't, you know, I don't, I haven't watched my review video of it in a while, but I don't remember if I was if I talked about how the, the rebounds came off hot when it would hit you in the chest. But that is something that, like, the more I used it, the more I noticed it. Um, it would be hard to corral. If you get a shot, like, right here, it would really come flying off. Because, again, this curved composite material is, like, it's what they put in the blockers and, and stuff and pads. And it's, you know, Bauer is known for the hot rebounds coming off their gear. So, yeah, the same thing happened with the chest protector where you would get hit in the chest. And, you know, a lot of times, whereas maybe in chest protectors I had passed I'd be able to you know corral it in like that uh the puck would just fly out before you know I would still try to do that but it would just be boom like a, sec a split second thing boom boom come out and I wouldn't be able to corral it and I was giving up a little bit more rebounds um on pucks that you would think normally a goalie should be able to corral in the chest area so this must have been something they've heard from people because obviously it's not like they just watch my video or <laughs> listen to just me but um, they must have been hearing this from people about that same issue. And so they remedied that with putting this uh, softer foam on top of the plate. So definitely you can see how this is going to give more and kill the rebounds. And just besides that, it's even more protection. So like you're really protected in the chest sternum area uh, between the plate and now the added uh, foam, whatever, on, on top of it. But I'm really looking forward to seeing how it kills the rebounds and how that changes it. 
Because that would be like maybe the only problem I would have said that the two X had. Uh, the only like complaint thing I could complain about that I can really think of um, was those rebounds that were that I was giving up more of. <clears throat> so supposedly that's fixed with this. I think it probably will be because it definitely feels like it will kill the rebound. So that's a huge difference between the 2X and this one and what seems to be for the better. Um, the, the shoulder part here is similar, but with the Hyperlite, it's a little more articulated. So as you can see how they have these different seams here and it allows this area to, to flex and really hug and, and wrap, you know, wrap around your, your shoulder area. I mean, this one basically did that. It's just that the segments weren't as defined. So it, it was a little stiffer and, and didn't quite wrap around as much as, as the Hyperlite will, but it really wasn't an issue. So it's not a big deal to me that they did that. It's not something I would have necessarily told them they had to do or a recommendate, would have been a recommendation for me, but it is something different. So the, the, uh, the uh, shoulder area here is gonna, you know, work with you a little better be more form fit that's the word i was trying to think of form fitting to your shoulder on this one um and then they added a little bit of extra an extra piece on the side of the shoulder here this little shoulder flap thing that they did not have on the 2x so the 2x pretty much besides this it just had this piece here so one layer level whatever protection so this one has now you see this part we already talked about. Then it's got this flap, which would be equal to what was on the 2X, but then it's got this other, even third flat level flap, whatever, back here. So, I mean, obviously the, the main thing that does is just give you an extra layer of protection, but it's, as you can see, it does stick out a little more. So I feel like you're, the shape you're gonna be in, <laughs> kind of sounds weird to say it like that, you're, your shoulder shape when wearing this i feel like with the 2x it was very much like i said form fitting kind of more rounded shoulders not like that box you're not gonna look like a box when you're in net i feel like this one is probably gonna make the shoulders a little more squared off maybe still not as much as their uh ultrasonic chest protector as that's their more kind of like take up room squared off uh unit but it's gonna be a little more so than the 2X, it seems. Again, like I said, I haven't used this yet, but it definitely, just like when I put it on, it seems like it's a little wider in the shoulders, which not necessarily a bad thing. Like, and as long as I'm not, it's, it's not, it doesn't feel to me like it's, it's at the expense of mobility, I, I don't mind it. My, you know, my SLR chest protector was a little more squared off than the 2X, so I'm not necessarily opposed to that. It's just that usually, in the past, what has been is that if a, a chest protector is that more squared off version, I just, to me, it would feel less mobile, but like with my SLR, it was fine. So, you know, we'll see. Um, I don't think they would make this, uh, try to make this purposely less mobile because that was like the shining thing about the 2X that everybody loved, but uh, we'll see. I, you know, I think they just wanted to protect that area more and maybe another issue would, or another reason would be to maybe take up a little more room and, and make your shoulders more square just so you know every now and then you get that shot that'll like kind of glance off your shoulder and still go in so if you make it a little wider there you know you want to say it's cheating or something whatever but if you're a little wider in the shoulder there you might you know it's a game of inches you might make that save instead of it glancing off you and going in but that's just another thing that's different is this add a little bit a little bit of added uh, shoulder protection um so they still have this uh, extension pieces at the bottom here, here, and here. They had those with the 2X. We're gonna add it up this on each side and this piece here. So that's to, you know, you can play around with the length of it. Um, the general rule has, was, with the 2X was that if you don't tuck, you would leave those extenders on that way you know, because sometimes when you're moving around, it might kind of lift up a little bit and you don't want to ever leave your belly exposed. So that's going to help protect you in those kind of situations. And then if you did tuck, you didn't need it because since it's staying inside your pants and your, you know, your pants are kind of covering that area, um, if you left those on and you did tuck, it might bunch up, it might be a little too much. So that's kind of 
like you know it's not a hard rule you can do whatever you want but if you don't tuck you leave the extenders on if you do tuck you can take them off so you have that same option with the hyper light or if it's just you know could also be an issue where maybe your torso length puts you like kind of between sizes so maybe you know you wanted to go with the smaller size but then now with the extenders you can you know you can get a little extra coverage down low or maybe you ended up going with the next size up and then you just you, you know the extenders make it a little too long and you can take them off regardless of tucking untucking whatever but it just gives you options so like i've always said you know giving you options is always a good thing but that hasn't really changed so that was on the 2x that's on the hyperlight um the so just like in the belly padding whatever is very similar as you can see just these segmented padding area i do feel like this the hyperlight wraps around and gives you a little better protection on the side side easier so <laughs> I'm wrestling with this thing here okay so this side protection on here I feel like they they gave you a little more it wraps around more than the 2x did um, I don't know if I'll be able to, okay so as you, here you see the two so this other than the belly segmented padding here it just has this one like soft foam thing on the side so this has this it's kind of a they do it in two layers now where it has like a harder piece of i mean it's still not hard hard it's you know you can move it it bends but a little bit of a harder piece right at the edge and then you got that same soft uh padding here but it seems like it extends to wrap around a little more than the other one did now i never had a problem with that and the 2x as far as something happening with my size and not being covered so it wasn't really an issue for me but if you're somebody that is more worried about it they it seems like they did take that into consideration with this where it wraps around your body more and gives you a little more protection on the sides and it seems like it even goes up a little more like it, it extends up higher than the 2x did where it, the 2x seems to more taper off a little earlier <clears throat> um another i guess it's a big change but really it's not is so with the 2x not just the the chest protector but also the pants i did a review of both the pants and the chest protector and one thing i did note was like at the time like with everything with every line a company puts out they always have or maybe not always they usually have this one thing that's like specifically theirs or specific to this line because obviously you're trying to sell the line you want to make it seem more unique than anything else out there um and so like with this 2x line with the chest protecting the pants one of the like i'm gonna call it a gimmick i feel like it was a gimmick you can be the judge i, I think i said in the review that I, I, it seemed like a gimmick to me and the fact that they already got rid of it would make me think they probably ended up realizing it was a gimmick too is um these pull tabs on the back so on either side of the back here uh, here so that's how you would tighten this around you whereas with most traditional chest protectors and now with the hyperlight they just have this clip so here's the clip and then you have the regular you have like an elastic an adjustable elastic piece that has the clip part it goes around your back you clip it in and so like what i had always done in the past was you know you just adjust that to a length that you know keeps it fairly tight around you but then since it's elastic it extends so you just pull it off or pull it over you and i never even bothered to unclick these things because just the just this expanding and giving me a little more room i was always able to slip it on and off again i'm a thin guy maybe if you're a heavier guy that's more of an issue for you i don't know for me that was never an issue i would just slip it on and off without ever having to take this off once i did my final adjustments with it but they try to like reinvent the wheel with the 2x and instead of having that they have these two uh like nylon uh straps so they're not they don't stretch at all it's not elastic but you they're like pull straps and then you pull them to to where you want it and it won't come loose 
unless you like release it with this buckle part. So the, now for me, instead of just putting, putting the chest protector on or taking it off, with the 2x, I would always have to do that. It would be like a little extra step. Again, not that it's whatever. You just pull some things. What's the big deal? No, it's not a big deal. But it's to me, it's unnecessary. I didn't need it. I mean, that being said, eventually I use it for so long. I just got used to it. I stopped really thinking about it. So you put it on. You pull the tabs or you pull the straps to the tightness you want. The more so that really wasn't a problem, like putting it on. It was more that it got annoying taking it off because so to release it, you release it by the by this thing, you lift this part up and pull it out and that would loosen it. But it's just awkward because they're in the in your back. So you'd be taking your stuff off and you have to like reach behind you awkwardly with your two hand and then try to find the thing and then pull it back. So depending on how much mobility you have in your shoulder, I mean, I don't really have like bad shoulders. I mean, I've had some shoulder injuries, so maybe my mobility is not peak. But for the most part, I can put my hands behind my back and do things. But it was still, you know, for me, a little awkward. So if you maybe have issues like being able to put your hands behind your back or doing stuff, it might really be awkward to you. So to me, that was just a gimmick. I didn't think that was anything great. It was just something they wanted to put out on their 2X line of stuff, specifically the chest protecting the pants, just to make like, oh, this is our, they have, there's a name for it. It's the, uh, the fast strap. You know, this is our fast strap. That's, you know, that's their gimmick for that line. Like I said, I, I guess they realize it's a gimmick because they did, it only lasted that one line and that's it. It's already gone with the Hyperlite. They don't have it anymore. So to me, I like that. Um, maybe somebody else just really liked that other thing on the 2X for some of the fast drive. I, I don't know. To me, it's just unnecessary. Um, so now they're back to the traditional elastic band back here. And they've also added this little strap here that I guess you, if you want to like tie your chest protector down to your pants you can loop this around your belt or what or something in the back of your pants whatever you want and it's just velcros you loop it around velcros onto it there put it through velcro up i don't do anything with this i don't i just wear mine untucked and i don't have anything over it or tying it down nothing like that so to me it doesn't do anything but if you're a person that likes to tie your your chest protector down it does have this loop in the back or this velcro part in the back that you can loop it around your belt or whatever to attach it to your pants um then so and then the another thing that was really good about the 2x is the adjustability of it it was one of the at least at the time when i got it, it was one of the most uh, you could do the most adjustments to it of like any other chest protector i've had you know, there's always been stuff where you can adjust around the neck and kind of shoulders. But here, I think this was the first one I had that you could really adjust the arms significantly. So this had, the 2X has this drawstring system they use. I had never seen this before. Um, and now they got rid of it. I actually really like this. I thought this was cool. I thought this was a very easy way to adjust the arms. You know, you just push in this button on this little knob here and you pull the string or loosen it, depending, whatever you need to do to make it longer, shorter, whatever. And I thought it was cool. I thought it was an easy way. It's held, it holds up. Um, I had no problem with it. I really liked it. They decided to go a different direction with this. Uh, and then the, uh, and the Hyperlite now, you can still adjust the arms, but it's just a Velcro adjustment. So there's this strap here and just Velcro and it's not elastic it's a, it's a solid strap so you put it to you know wherever you want and you can kind of shorten and or lengthen the arm so now the thing is just aside from that I just think the drawstring method was easier I felt like you could really shorten or, or change the, the length of your arm of the arm piece with it a little more with this because since the whole thing is being held together by the string you making it tighter or looser whatever affects the whole arm with the adjustment system on the Hyperlite, it's only on the f like this front piece here. It's not on, there's nothing, there's not another strap on the back, which is kind of weird. I would think they would have it on both. So yeah, it does move it up, but it kind of more moves the front piece up while the back piece is still there. So it'll make it a little shorter, but it's like, it's not as, I don't know, it's not as even. It's not pulling the whole arm up. It's, you know, it's like if I'm pulling my, like, this is a good example. If I'm pulling my sleeve up, what, you want, you kind of grab it in the middle, pull the whole sleeve up. 
instead of you wouldn't just pull like the front and then go like this and then the back part is still kind of sagging down so to me it seems like that's maybe a step back i i kind of wish they would have kept the drawstring method or it remains to be seen i mean you know i i put it on and i already made the adjustments to my what i wanted for the length of the arms and adjusting around the the neck and the shoulders so uh i mean it, if it as long as it holds up i guess or work i guess it's really not an issue i it's just that if i had my preference i would have kept the drawstring you know we'll see when, when i use it if, it if it becomes an issue um it probably won't but just i don't know to me that that was one thing i definitely think they should have kept from the 2x into this the other fast strap thing nah that was a gimmick i, I think that's fine that they got rid of that um so yeah and then just this is very basically the same system they had in the 2x where you have a, a bigger piece of velcro that will kind of bring the whole collar and back area in or loosen it and then you have these little you have these little straps here that tie down these uh, floaters up here and so you can kind of change the way that sits on there too. They had the same, not exactly the same, but similar version on the 2X, except that you couldn't adjust the floaters on the 2X. So that is a, that's something different, but like as far as the, uh, like adjusting the collar and how high or low that sits around the whole neck area, that adjustment system is the same with, uh, or they called it the arch adjustment system on the 2X. They don't have a name for it, that I can see on the on the hyperlight. I mean, I don't really know why you need to name something that's basically just Velcro, but okay. Mm, yeah, I don't see any kind of special name for it, but it, that part is the same. It's just that they added this now uh, ability to kind of make a little bit of an adjustment to the floaters. It's not gonna be a huge deal. I think if you just maybe put it looser, it might kind of stick up more. Whereas if you pull it a little tighter, it'll round and go over your shoulders a little more to give you a more of a, of a rounded shape there. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about it. I mean, the back, back padding is about the same as the 2X was, which, you know, nothing special. It's like generic back padding. That's, to me, that's never been any kind of an issue or anything I've ever worried about. Um, so I think that's basically covers everything just for like an out of the box type of look at this. Uh, um, yeah, the, uh, so another thing I just thought of is like, I like the way the arms felt, not just mobility wise, but like. I found it interesting and if you look back at my review video you'll see me talking about it how it fits almost like how and this is why i wanted to wear this this uh, shirt something like this would fit with like a long sleeve it feels more like a sleeve of a hoodie type of thing or something than most other chest protectors have that's like the best way i can describe it. i don't know it's kind of hard to really describe what i'm trying to say but it feels more like a full encompassing sleeve on your arm and I like that because it really, that combined with how mobile it is, um, I don't know, it just makes it feel very natural. Your, the movements and everything makes it feel very natural. So they have, it has the same feel on the arms of these like it had on the 2X. So I like that. So overall, you know, it seems like it's, they took basically the same idea behind the 2X, made it with the Hyperlite, you know, a few changes, like mainly that padding on the, on the chest, which I think was a much needed change because the rebounds were too hot. You know, you a lot of times you do want hot rebounds off the things, but off the chest, probably not because you're gonna end up giving up bad rebounds. So that seems to be good. You know, the only thing that seems like it might be a negative is the whole arm adjustment system where they got rid of the drawstring and now it's just a, a Velcro piece. But it, it, I guess once you really make the adjustment to your arm, you really don't need to be changing it much. So it probably is not gonna be an issue. Um, so yeah, if anything, it seems like more, more of the same goodness with a little little tweaks here and there of, of, of improvement. So I'm excited to, to start using this. Um, and then, uh, you know, after a while, I will definitely give you my full thoughts after using it to see if uh, I like it as much as the 2X, maybe not as much, why, why not, et cetera, et cetera. 
but uh, yeah, so that was just like the overlook of what you're you're gonna get in the uh, Hyperlight chest protector from Bauer. Um, something I was looking forward to for a while because, like I said, I need to replace this 2X, and obviously that's like the next version of the 2X. So we'll see. Um, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.